Well, welcome everybody and welcome Mr. Barry Peatling to the Barry Peatling Sports Show. And welcome to you, Colin Sutcliffe and all my viewers all around the world. We've got a lot of new overseas viewers the last week or so and I'll tell you all about that later. Yep. And to my interstate viewers too. It's a very nice day in Chelsea. Interstate, we are Victorian viewers and also international viewers, of course. Overseas, OS. Just the recent update is 25,000 views on the Barry Peatling could be 26,000 by the end of this week. Could be, oh, is that your prediction? 26,000. Mm -hmm. Flying well, high. It is the end of the Australian cricket season. Um, New Zealand's flying high. I just mentioned mm -hmm. that very briefly, that New Zealand just won the against India, and that, that, uh, not, which is making it easier for Australia because if they pull India down, he's in second position. And Look, we don't, worry, we don't worry about who's playing who. We're just going to keep winning, Australia. We'll just keep winning. We're on the... This is a probably... I reckon predicting about four or five year old, like they were back in the late 80s, 89 to 85, 95, and they don't, it's like, but this is going to be a golden era. Five year, yeah, because we've got about, I look at that, uh, what do you call those big bash games, we've got about mm. six fast bowls in their early 20s, they're going to be superstars. Mm. And that's where you build your side around, Colin. Yep. A couple of good batsmen, and but six open bowls, and uh, very good, so. So what are you? It's going to be right up there, viewers. What are your thoughts about this uh, Australia versus South Africa well, tour, which is happening on Wednesday? I, think. I reckon we'll be. I'll be. No, no television. Won't be televised. Mm, right? Don't think so. It'll be this on the Fox Tel. Fox Tel or something. But I think it. Uh, Australia will win two one. Two one. Yep. They might have win three all. Three and three nil. So they don't have Shark Callis. He is half a side. And was half the side. What they have to do is replace him with a who? What a batsman or a bowler? What? Well, he, he was, was everything. He could do anything. He was a luxury for them. He could fast bowl, medium pace, mm. open bat, go to number six, bat anywhere, and still make hundreds. So they'll probably have to replace him with a bowler and just make do with the batting. Well, I haven't checked the, checked the, the last what was going on in South Africa, but they still got Dale Stone, but he's getting he's getting old now. Maybe a bowling. And who's the other guy? Morkham. Uh, Morkel and also Philander. And Philander. Yeah. But I think Dale Stone is, uh, when were we playing last, about two or three years ago? Yeah, but he's still young, he's about 30. He's about yeah, but I like to be losing a bit of pace. He's now. about as old as Mitchell. But I think it, uh, they will be too good for him. We, we're, uh, we've got that much abundance of players to pick from, Colin. Hmm. And I just think that uh, well, Watson's out again. And hmm. I've, I've got a funny feeling, they're talking about Doolan, but I think they'll... Uh, Oh, this is about changes. So what are your predictions for well, changes? Well, I got him jumped a bit earlier, but yeah. uh, Doolan, I, I haven't seen much of him. Have you mm. seen much of him? He's sort of a, a bit of a grafter, a bit of a good player, like um, well, solid seasons in the in the um, in the shield. Well, Phil Hughes made eighty something not out mm. a couple of days ago, and I think that's pretty good stuff. I think you're probably going in front of Doolan. I, I haven't seen him play at all. Phil Hughes has, you know, been dropped so been many times. Been around forever. But when he first played in South Africa, he dominated. He'll well, he, he made eighty last week, so mm. that's a bit, that's he's got taste of the good wicket. Then he's uh, no, I, I, I don't think they'll gamble on doing. Yeah, I think they'll put, so, put an established player in, like mm. Phil Hughes. I would say pick him. Right. So he's got a uh, look. I, I I agree with you, Barry, and I think that ordinarily I'd, I'd say Phil Hughes is washed up, but because he has a track record in South Africa, it does help. Colin. It does help. He's played there. They he's not nervous about the about that. They can handle the work. He's not frightened. He's not frightened. Stone. He, he stood up him last time. Last time they, last time they played. And uh, but Watson again. Look, mm. Shane Watson. Do yourself a favour. Retire, mate. Shame, retire. Give someone else a go because you get injured and you get back and you get injured and just he's a hypochondriac. Any bowling changes? No, I think they're the same. It'll be Siddle, Harris, Johnson, Lyon. Who's the, what about the, the line? The line will be going. Watson was yeah. sort of like the, the, the Watson, fourth. Watson, he was thing. about fourth or fifth change. Yeah, yeah but, but so they're just going to keep the four bowlers? Or yeah, what? that'll do. That's that'll do. Okay. I mean, we've got Harris. We've got three of the probably three of the best fast bowlers in the world. Mm. Harris, mm. Siddle, yeah. and Johnson. The yeah. So they can sort of alternate, and then yeah. and then after they alternate a little bit, line will come in. Line will come in and bowl. And Stephen Smith can bowl some leg spin too. Bit of Steve Smith. And we, of course, I told the viewers last week about our new two star leg spinners. They're going to terrorise the world. Yeah, Joyce and, and Muirhead. And one of your your friend's sons. And I checked it up. He's a relation. He's two. Oh, Second cousin. Muirhead. Um, and um, because you played with, uh, what's his name? You played with Muirhead. 
what was the fellow's name? Oh, Billy, yeah. Billy thought, yeah, Newhead. He was a cricketer too, and uh, I thought he'd be a relation. So Did I, he play in Rapunyip or no, one of No, Richmond, he's a Richmond man. Oh, Richmond man, okay. He um, was not a bad cricketer too, but all these supporters around the world following your teams, look after these two, Boyce and Newhead. Two leg spinners that will terrorise us. Okay, Barry, tell us about Australia's biggest worries in South Africa. Well, I don't reckon they've got too many worries at all, as a matter of fact, Colin. I mm. just think that, uh, I mean, a few years ago when, uh, when Stain was at his top, mm. he come, they come out here too, didn't they? Mm-hmm. He was, uh, I think he's, now they've got, and Morkels, I think Morkels have got a bowl than Stain. Yeah, he's got, the, he's got the height. He's more consistent, he doesn't, doesn't bowl too many loose deliveries. Mm. He's not as, not as quick as Stain, but because Stain likes to do a bit of uh, Dennis Lewin Thompson, smash him out and bounce him, but he... And for Lander, he's a very much a McGrath type bowler. Steady, yeah. Steady, but sort of he can sort of it, because of the steadiness, he can get you. Now their 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 spinner, um, Tamir, Tamir, uh, whatever he's his name playing, is. He's still is he? He still remember he came over here and he got they smashed him everywhere. No, he's, he can't bowl. She playing, is he? Yeah, he's playing. Oh, see you later. See you later. <laughs> That's a weakness. But so I tell you what, Morkel's the one to watch. He's, he's he's a very good bowler, and he can bat too. See what might happen with the Australian, what tell us? the Australian batsmen is that they get once they get through the initial barrage of um, bowling, mm-hmm. it softens up. That well, they can, they can Australia can take these spinners yeah. apart. Well, that, they they destroyed Mr. Swan, who but was recognised as the best spinner in the world, Colin. So if they can. hold on for twenty overs. And they, they don't lose Still any wickets. Three wickets yeah. Yeah. Then, then it's yeah, that's right. They they, they can't sustain. We got all the smashes down below too. We yeah. they just bash them around. Right. Okay. Um, now Shane Warne, you didn't respond. Yes, I must reply to you when you said that. He's going to coach England. <laughs> when you seen that paper, I, when they, I can't believe what people are writing these days, Colin. I mean, yeah. people like you and other people get saying, "Wow, Warne's going to go to England." Yep. I knew. It was what I say last week is a joke. Joke, so it is yeah. a joke, but uh, can you imagine Shane Warren even think about doing it, coaching against his own side? It's crazy, isn't it? It's just not right. It's not, these people write these stories, you want to get a life. Yeah. Smarten up. So you've squashed that rumour? Well, I squashed it last week. You squashed it, squashed it before and it got the off the ground. In the paper. <laughs> in yeah. the paper. <laughs> that story's out of plumb. <laughs> out of plumb. That's a very polite way to put it, Barry. Mm. And you're not known for your politeness. Well, I can be sort of. I sort of talk direct on and beat around the bush. Mm. Now, Kevin Peterson. Yes. Sacked by English. Your thoughts? Well, on his form, he'd probably keep him in the side. Mm-hmm. But he, he's got too much to say, Colin. Too much he's of a mouth. And he, and he, yeah. and he was, if you see him in the game against, the games, the test games against Australia, yeah. he was trying to run the show from Cook. Mm. And he was... He was sort of directing the field more than Cook. And I don't think most captains don't like that Cook. No, I don't think so. You've got a senior player who can cause a bit of damage, like Kevin Peterson. Well, he had a go at him early in the season. What do you say? He had a go at his own player. Mm. What was he talking about? I remember it was in the paper, but. He is he, negative. He was having a go at his own players. Mm. You don't do that. No, I think he's. Uh, but he's already signed up for the Big Bash next year. Oh, he's one of the premier players. The big bash and also you the... probably make more in one season when he makes it yeah, in ten seasons. Yeah, they make a million, million. You make a million bucks in the end this year. Yeah. It doesn't start, yeah. I think. Well, uh, money's not his issue, so, you know. But he, uh, he's... Uh, I mean, the, the, he has been one of the key players the last ten years, Pearson. So the, yeah, he has, absolutely. So key, and he's... But he, but he, 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 he gives one of the flick, and he, he went home, and the other fellow, Stuart, was abroad, no, Trot, he went home. Hmm. I think he was having a go at him on the ground, too. Mm-hmm. When they're fielding. So that's uh, Kevin Peterson. He can do what he wants, really. Who cares? Anyway? Yeah, yeah. So that's uh, that's uh, that's that's interesting for the Test series. Your prediction was two one. So you, you see, could be three. Loop. Could be three. Or you see, you wavering a little bit. Well, well, it's a different pitches, and uh, we've, yeah, just, we've, right. just, we've just come off a, a very extraordinary ten weeks of cricket, mm. and I think there are, uh, and they haven't had any practice games over there yet. Yeah. They, had, they were playing against each other yesterday. Mitchell mm. Johnson was mm. nearly, bo- nearly knocked out David Warner. Yeah, that's right. I mean, they're fair to England, aren't they? Yeah, absolutely. Training. Now, just uh, quickly, your thoughts on Richmond are playing on Friday? Well, I said before we come on air to you, Colin, I think Richmond will win this nice premiership. I know it's a no big deal, but I think they want to win everything now. Yeah. They've, they've psyched up and they've got, got some new sponsors. Mm. And they are uh, raring to go. So they'll beat Melbourne? 
I'd say about nine goals. Only you're saying ten goals. You well, it's only half a game, isn't it? Oh, okay, so you, because of the time, nine goals. Okay, fair Where's enough. Where's it played at? Um, somewhere Punt Road Oval, I think. No. Yeah. A night game. Yeah. You should you carry on. No. We can't play at home ground. We're gonna. We're, they're using that ground. Maybe the MCG. It won't be the MCG. It'll be playing cricket there still. Where do they play? I think Punt Road. Pretty Did sure. they play last year? What? No. Where they no, play? this is all. Uh, you know. You know, country games. And so they play for well, they, that'd be good. I have something to watch. Yeah. But that wouldn't well, maybe. Well. And they'll make the top four, everybody watching this video. Oh, here we go. Of football. Richmond will make the top four, guaranteed. So as we said before, 25,000 viewers. Mm -hmm. It's going 20, it'll be 26,000 in the week. Okay, and we're starting to get paid to put money. Yeah, so they're going to pay us. Well, they're not going to pay us. They've already put money. We don't want to disclose how much. They've already no, put well. money into your bank account. That's right, they have, yeah. They, yeah. Have they, you, they asked that la last week and we, you've done So that. there is cash money in your bank account, so we won't give out the bank account details just in case there might be robbers listening yeah, to this video. Yeah, there could be thieves, thieves everywhere, yeah, they? on so the internet and YouTube. But you've quit your full-time job, you've only gone part-time now. Yeah, and because you're getting part-time, paid... very good masseur too. If you all these people overseas, if you ever get down to Chelsea and Victoria, call me and, and uh, I'll be in the... In the local book or, or YouTube. Just yeah, on the YouTube. My address or on the YouTube. Or barrypitling at gmail.com. One of the best masseurs around. Mm. You and know, because I, mess, I mess out this man. That's right. And you don't need that much money because you're getting paid by YouTube. Oh, thousand now. YouTube. Um, don't think so. <laughs> have you got any new view overseas yes, viewers? Yes, I'm glad you asked that, Colin. So far away. People from Brazil, mm -hmm. Turkey. Turkey. Mm. They want to like... What sport they got in Turkey? Well, that's the Soccer. opposite side. On the opposite side of Turkey is the Black Sea, right? And the opposite side of the Black Sea is Sochi, Russia. Is it? Well, there you go. Winter Good old Turkish. Turkish. Turkish delight, yeah. Mm -hmm. Kenya? Well, they got no food over there. They don't eat, do they? They just eat grass, don't they? Yeah. <laughs> nothing, nothing grows over there. No. And flowers. Flowers. Oh, I shouldn't say that bigger part. Yeah. Tanzania, South Africa, who will be uh, tuned in next yep. week. I think still watches, there's about 50 viewers the last week from yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nepal, and there's 20 viewers from Nepal, and that's in near Mount Everest. Tibet and all that sort of stuff, yeah, Mount Everest. 20, 20 viewers this week. Wow. Well, if they put the air on top of Mount Everest, they'd get everything, wouldn't they? Yep. Well, that's where they go, don't they? Well, it's all internet, so, you know. Yeah, but they, they go up top of the mountain. Yep. Canada. Yep. Ireland, and there's 15 viewers from Ireland. I, my ancestors come from Northern Ireland. Yeah, that Ferguson. Sense. So if any Ferguson's good, out there. Good Catholic viewers. There's plenty of Ferguson in, in yeah. Ireland, I'll tell you now. Mm. Give me a call, drop me a line, make some comments yeah. about this video. So, uh, where are we are? Saudi Arabia? It's 80 in Saudi Arabia. Wow, they still have the death. They, they still cut people's heads off in Saudi Arabia. Really? Anyway, yeah. India is, is another one, 300. India. Yeah, cricket. USA is 40. Yeah. And Belgium, they have a new one too. So there yeah, you are. Belgium. Well, hope you enjoy all of Keep the tuning video. in for our. We'll try and keep you entertained the next. Whatever and uh, but the people in Nepal, I'm just surprised they they, yeah. um, they even have the internet. Wouldn't have time to play sport. That'd be too cold, wouldn't they? Yeah, I think so. Well, give us your Cheerios then. Yes, now Cheerios. Cheerios. And next week, the big reunions. Not this sat, not this Saturday. The following Saturday. Yeah, yes. right. Okay. So P H and Long John and Noz Noz going to be down at Pearsdale. Down at Pierce Pearsdale, and it'll be on. We'll I'll take the camera down there and, yep. and Long John will be there. It's, it's going to be a very, very laughable day. I'd say there'll be jokes mm -hmm. and talking about what we did, what we did a long time ago. Get a few snippets, a few little interviews to put on your YouTube well, channel. Well, I'll probably get, I'll get Noz's missus to tune. We've heard about Noz and PH. We'll just have a little snippet, even if it's just 30 seconds worth of yeah, well, just footage of these here, people. It, so we can put names to the faces. Because it's very nostalgic, faces Colin. Faces to the this, names. This, 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 Reunion because it's mm -hmm. 40 years and I haven't seen some of these fellas for 40 years. It's mm. a long time, isn't it? And of course, look, my people in the Philippines, Annie and Carla, she's uh, she's watched that video about when I told her about finishing third. Oh. Very happy about that. And I said, well, hope you enjoyed that, Carl. So keep tuning in. And because mm. Lloyd, Joe Van, Jimmy, Ariana, I missed a couple last week. Bia and her darling little daughter, Mia. Everything's going right there. Oh, 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 Brownette last week. Oh, uh, yesterday. Town hours. Brownette's a blackout here. Yeah. But apart from that, that's all for me today. And that's all for me. Let's apologise to Annie for this video going for more than 15 minutes. <laughs> Goodbye. See you next week. Bye-bye.